Wakey, wakey, morning has broken and you will bang on time for morning prime. I trust you'll had a lovely restorative week and of course a restorative night as well. It is another beautiful day on this day of 21st of July 2023 and every Friday you have Wongozi coming your way where we take a critical analysis on the leadership of the day and we know what the country has been going through with the demonstrations of our disputation and refutation of the Finance Act and the cost of living. And that's what uh, the Azimio protagonist is saying. The current state of play in the country and who have been leading these demonstrations as well. And we saw also Raila Odinga coming yesterday to explain why he has been missing in these demonstrations, saying that he has been running a flu. So we take a critical analysis on how that has adversely affected businesses in the country. Lands have been lost, schools were closed, and there is a respite right now. Calm is restored back in the city, and we shall be also following that today, keeping our eyes peeled and our ears on the ground to inform you adequately on what is the current state of play as far as demonstrations is concerned. We saw some a very subdued demonstrations yesterday and this goes to show also that the police have been able to clamp down on the demonstrators. I'm holy God this morning with Kipruto Arapkiro who is a governance and policy analyst. I'll also be joined by Haman Manyora, a governance and policy analyst, Dr. Martin Olo and Brian Wakeer as well to just put things into perspective. But before then let's see what is fresh off the press this morning beginning with the bold paper and this is what you're waking up to on the front page of The Standard today. Calm returns as focus now shifts to police action. Protest hotspots witness relative calm yesterday with Azmio leaders failing yet again to shore up but insisting demos will go on. Even as Kenyans counter the cost with riots groups decrying police brutality. And of course, if you pick up The Standard as well, you'll get a great information about the human rights uh, of telling how also we had militias infiltrating the Azimio uh, protests as well. But at a glance, let's see uh, what we have as a highlight here. Most parts of the country return to normalcy as intensity of protests die down. Rights groups accuse police of brutality, claim existence of a killer squad. And also president says elected leaders will lead country, not fears protest. Opposition vows demos to go on, assures that Raila Odinga is safe and also children in protest hotspots except in Nyanza region they resume learning and business cautiously reopen as previously empty streets come back to life and you have a special coverage of this on page two three four six and seven of the standard this morning and you have also an insert here children walking home from school near Madari in Nairobi yesterday and an easy calm returned to the area after Wednesday's demonstration in which some protesters sustained gunshots, wounds and several others arrested. That is how it looks today. On top here, we have the teaser good news for students on varsity cutoff. You can find out all the good news that is tucked away on page 8 and 9 of the standard this morning. Talks on use of tea harvesting machines tall and all that is spread out on the county or the county's pages there on page 21. Every Friday for the young and uh, young at heart, you have Paul's magazine that comes your way and this is the ultimate show stoppers find out who are the ultimate show stoppers on or inside the polls magazine and kipiegon goes for another world record he's on a winning trot you can follow this story on page 44 and of course also we pray for his success as well this is the standard this is how it looks this 